Hello crafters, in tonight's video, we're going to make our last card from the celebration brochure. That card is going to use the Perfect Pomegranate Polymer Stamp Set. The Miss You Sentiment found on the front of the card we got from the Honeybee Home Cling Stamp Set. I saved 10% by purchasing the Honeybee Home Bundle found in the annual catalog. Then we use the Country Cottage Designer Series Paper found in the mini catalog, and we'll use that as our background paper. Hi, I'm Joan Heberline, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I created this video for Joan Simple Paper Crafts found right here on YouTube. If you're new here, I want to thank you for stopping by, and if you're a returning guest, welcome back. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, that way you won't miss when I post a video, which is typically once a week. Now give me a few seconds so I can turn the camera down and we can get started. Here's the card we're going to be making tonight. We're going to be using the Perfect Pomegranate stamp set, and it's a celebration stamp set. Not only that, it is a hostess rewards. So when you have a $300 show, you'll get this absolutely free. Or you can place a $300 order and get it absolutely free. And then for the sentiment we used on the front of the card, we used Miss You. And I got that from the Honeybee Home Cling Stamp Set. I'm going to start with the stamping portion of this project. For our stamping, we're going to need two pieces of cardstock cut at three inches by four and a half, or that would be 7.6 centimeters by 11.4 centimeters. In this first one, we're just going to take our sweet sherbet and we're going to do stamping off. And we're going to use the third generation. So the first generation is going to be one and then two and then we're going to do it right here for the third generation. And that's going to be inside our card. And we'll set that aside to dry. And then the, and I'm just going to get that cleaned up right here. Actually, we'll do this one full strength. And then we're going to come back and fussy cut that. So let me get that wiped up here. The next thing we're going to need is the smaller pomegranates. And we'll just do those real quick here. Okay, and we'll fussy cut those in a few minutes here. So I am going to clean these right now. I'm going to use my stamp and scrub. And I'm going to spray some Stampin' Mist on the left hand side. There is a raindrops up in the corner here. So that tells me that should be the wet side. There's a sunshine here, so that should be the dry side. Right, and we'll just put that away for now. So next we need to do is our leaves. So I'm going to take this big leaf here. It's, it's a whole set of leaves here and branches. And I'm going to use our darker color of green. So that's going to be our mossy meadow. And I just want to get it up in the corner here. And you might have noticed when I did the other stamp that it is a distinctive stamp. So by just stamping it once, there's different gradation of color and it looks like you've got different colors of ink in there. 
and it really is just one color of ink. And I think I'm done with this, so I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to stamp this off here. And the next thing I want to do is take our smaller leaf and I'm going to stamp them over the top of these. And we're going to use the old olive. And as you can tell, I'm not keeping it all on the paper. I'm actually going off a little bit and I'm not re-inking every time. So I think that's enough there. And I think we're done with this as well. The next I want to do is I want to stamp this flower on here. And as you can see, it's going to cover some of this here, and I don't want to do that. So I do have some masking. I, this is done with sticky notepad paper. I just stamped this on a notepad paper and fussy cut it out so I can do that do that real easily I'm just going to stamp this down and it looks like I didn't even hit that leaf so we're good there For this one here, I'm going to try using their masking paper rather than this sticky notepad. So I went and I stamped this already on here, and now I'm going to fussy cut that out. So I basically need to have the leaf petals cut out accurately. See if that's okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tear the relief paper off the back, and then I'm just going to this down and then I'm going to restamp this and we're going to just bring it from there forward and then I'm just going to take this off from here And that worked really well. So I'm going to put this paper right back on here and I'll store it in my stamp case with the stamps. I think I can reuse that. So let me get this cleaned up. I want to bring this back in here because we're going to want to put our seeds inside of here. And I'm just going to see which way it's supposed to go on the stamp this way. And I'm going to take a darker color. Um, let's try the cherry cobbler. We want a darker color red.
And sorry if my head's in here. I just want to make sure I'm getting it on the stamp image. That worked. And then the last thing we need to stamp is our sentiment. We're going to use the Miss You that came right out of the Honey Bee stamp set right here. And we're going to put that on a piece of 7 8 inch cardstock by 3 inch. Or that would be 2.2 centimeters by 7.6 centimeters. And I'm just going to use our Memento ink. And I've got it right here. I just want to kind of center it in there. Let me close that up. So let's do our fussy cutting now. So we want to fussy cut these two things out. And what you want to do is you want to leave about 1 16th of an inch away from the edge of the stamp. You want to turn the paper and not the scissors. And I'm just going to continue in fast speed here. these two pieces here. So what we'll do next is we will cut out our sentiment using our banners pick a punch and I'm going to have the miss you facing the other side. If I see miss you in there I don't want to be punching into it. I'm trying to center this. And then we'll do the same thing with this side. So I have it centered and I pressed halfway down and it's still centered. So then I'm going to finish punching it out. So we'll go put that on with our dimensionals. And I think I'm going to use three here. I only used two on the other one, and I thought it kind of bowed a little bit in the center there, so I'll use the three. And I'm just going to put it right up here. Okay, then the next thing is for the pomegranates. And I want to layer these and I don't want to glue them directly upon each other because that, that to me that's too flat. So I'm going to put some glue dots in between the two pieces there. I think I'll just do one glue dot on this one here and another glue dot on the other one. And then I will add it to the card base. And I'll use dimensionals for that as well. And I will put four on just to make it stable. We don't want it going all kitty wumpus when it goes through the mail. So if you're not mailing it, you could probably get by with just two 
And I'm just going to use my Take Your Pick tool to get these paper backings off. Just get them right about here. Good. Then the next we want to do is glue this onto our piece of Sweet Sorbert cardstock. And this is three and a quarter by nine and a half inches or 8.3 by 24.1 centimeters. And we scored it at four and three quarters or that would be 12.1 centimeters. And I'm just folding it and I'm going to burnish it on both sides because we want to get that with a nice crisp edge. So we can glue this piece inside first. And I am going to use our multi-purpose glue. And I have it in this glue bottle here with the needle nose tip on it. That helps me to get into really tiny places. Probably don't need it for this piece here. And we're going to leave an eighth of an inch border on all four sides. Trying to get all the glue out from behind that. I kind of over glued it here. If I close the card up, it would be sealed shut right then. Just want to make sure I get that up before I close it out. And then we're going to put the rest piece up here. And I should have put this on before putting on the elements because I can't use my boning tool to flatten the glue underneath this. So I'll only be able to do it in the little, like in the center and then on a little bit on the edges. And again, I used an eighth of an inch for a border here. Then we want to put glue on this and put it on our card base, but we don't have our card base ready. So we have our four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of card stock in that sweet shorbert, or that'd be 10.8 by 14 centimeters. We're going to take this piece of designer series paper. This is from the Gingham Cottage, and it comes in 12 different prints. And they're double-sided, and there's a total of 48 sheets. So it goes from small checks to large checks. And I used this one here, which is Blushing Bride. So we're going to just put some glue on the back side of this. And we're going to leave an eighth of an inch all the way around. So 
So now we just need to put some glue on the back of this. There you go. I think we are done with our card already. I hope you like this project as much as I did. As you can see, there are many ways you can use this stamp set and use it with just about any sentiment too. Why don't you give it a try? Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, would you do me two favors? Click the thumbs up emoji. That means you'll like it. And would you share it on social media with your crafting friends and pin it to Pinterest? These actions will help me to keep sharing my ideas with other crafters for free, and I'd really appreciate that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order or would like a catalog, Hop over to my website where you'll find the Shop Now button. To shop with me, you'll need to go to joanheberline.stampinup.net. Bear with me a little bit longer because I want to let you know of the promotions going on right now. The July-December 2022 mini catalog is here. Share and celebrate every season of life with the brand new products from the July-December 2022 mini catalog. Find the perfect something for autumn, winter, spring, and every occasion in between. You can find a link to that catalog in the comments section below. It's time for one of the most exciting promotions and parties of the year, Celebration. From July 1st to August 31st, you can earn exclusive free products by shopping, joining, or hosting. Choose a free celebration product with every $50 or $100 you spend, and that's before tax and shipping. Reward yourself by hosting a party. Hosting a party is always fun during celebration. It's even more rewarding. On top of the usual host rewards you can earn toward free and discounted products, there's also no limit to the number of free celebration products you and your guests can earn. Plus, place a party or a personal order over $300, excluding shipping, and you'll also receive the exclusive Perfect Pomegranate stamp set for free. Do what you love. Share your passion for creativity and do more of what you love. Join Stampin' Up! as an independent demonstrator and build a starter kit by selecting $125 in products for only $99. Join now during celebration and we'll throw in the Making the Plans collection for free. It's the perfect resource for allocating your time, building your business, and memory keeping along the way. You can find the link to the celebration brochure in the comments section below. I have some great news for you. Stampin' Up! has added several items to our celebration brochure. To see what those items are, Check out the link in the comment section below. So yes, a lot's going on right now, and I hope you pick the perfect bargain for you. Mark your calendars. I'll be back next Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I hope you'll be here to join me. Thanks so much for being here with me tonight. I look forward to next time. Bye for now, and don't forget to subscribe.